you want to get a ticket like this, how about a ticket like this? I kind of have it down. I'm uh, getting the hang of things. I started gambling when I was 25. So over the years, I've heard a lot of different ways to gamble. So trust me when I say some of them are really crazy. This is how I do it. Hopefully it can help you too. Everybody can get a piece of the pie because there's plenty of money to go around. People love to spend their money and they love to throw it away just playing a game. So that's where you come in and swoop in for the win. With these tips today, you're not gonna lose. You're actually going to win. Even if it's $5, 20 times, it all adds up. Make sure you do not bring more money than you plan to spend. Yes, this is a big one because if you have the money to spend $20 after a couple spins is going to feel like nothing. Then you're putting a $50 in the machine. Then you're putting a hundred dollars in the machine. Trust me, I've been there. Don't do that. And if it doesn't hit, just keep it moving. Trust me when I say this guys, like it's really easy to feed the machine. I've played casinos all over the world, played it in Barcelona and Germany. I've played them here in Ohio. I've played them in Atlantic City and Las Vegas. Like casinos are all over the place and they all have the same idea. Like they're there to take your money. The key to all this is to remember not to get hooked into the game because that's what slot machines want you to do. They're all pretty and lights and glittery and they are fun to play, but it costs to play this game. This is not a free game. So you can sit at the same machine for like three hours and it might not hit. It is what it is. It's all mechanical. You might not just be hitting the button at the right time. Whatever it is, it's not gonna hit for you. You just have to take the L and play the game somewhere else. If you're in Vegas, there are like 30 casinos just on the strip. If you're downtown Vegas, there's like 25 right in that walking area. Like if you wanna play that game and it's not hitting for you at that casino, just walk to the next one and play that game there because maybe it's gonna hit for you. Okay, now let's jump right into the tips. I'm gonna be counting down my top 12 from least important to the top important. They're all important, but you're gonna to wanna to stay around for number one because it is how you're going to win at slots the most. A lot of times, if you have a rewards card, you are going to get free play money. So your free play money, you are tempted to do max bet. Let's go over to the $30 machine and just hit 30 on a spin and see if it's gonna hit it's probably not going to hit on the first spin. Do not play all of your free play money on one spin. My friends do this all the time. I see so many people do it all the time. Think of your free play money as real money. If you win a dollar back, that's a whole dollar that now prints off as a dollar that you can go and exchange as a dollar. So that's like 30 chances if you're doing a dollar bet. If you are doing a 50 cents bet, that's 60 chances for you to get some sort of big hit. So instead of thinking of free play money as free play money, think of it as chances to win or think of it as chances to get $30. Because at the end of the day, that's $30 that you didn't have before and that's going to ride you through to the next casino and the next casino, maybe you'll hit $30, go to the next, go to the next, go to the next. So people get crazy with the free play, but think of it as real money. So one thing I've really noticed I notice especially in Las Vegas, but I also notice in Ohio because in Ohio I'll go with my parents like early in the morning and what will happen is we'll hit when we first get there, like around 8 or 9, 10, something like that. But then you see lunchtime come around and sure enough there's this whole influx of people into the casino and strangely between 11 and 1 o'clock, like those two hours of lunchtime, suddenly all the machines go cold. Like unless you get on a machine that somebody was just playing on, like no machines are hitting. Or if it's hitting, you're only getting maybe $20 where earlier you were getting like $50 hits or $100 hits. I feel like the casino knows that it's lunchtime and there's a lot of people here coming in and the casino knows that it's dinner time and a lot of people are wasting time before their dinner reservation. So, so they're going to be on the slot machine between those hours. So my tip for number 11 is do not gamble between the hours of 11 and one and five and seven. And on the peak side of that, my favorite times to gamble are midday between one and three and also at night between one and three. Something about that time I always hit. So again, Coincidence or do I know how to play slot machines? Tip number 10, you're gonna laugh because you've probably seen people doing this around the casino and now you're finally gonna realize why. So you know that guy who's always kind of lingering around or that girl kind of eyeballing like what you're 
like numbers and everything are on the machine. So what happens is people will be walking around and looking at all those numbers and specific numbers mean the machine is more likely to pay out. I'll talk more about this at the end, but they're also touching seats. Do you notice this? I notice this all the time. People going like this. And I was like, what are these people doing? Like this, these people are crazy. And then I was like, oh, maybe they're kind of testing out the seats. No, what they're doing is feeling the seat to see if it's hot. Because if it's hot, that means somebody's butt has been sitting there for a long time and they were feeding the machine. If it's a warm seat, that means there's more money in the machine. It's probably a more popular machine to play because the seat keeps staying warm. If you're in Vegas, you're playing with the big boys. So these people are hawking those machines ready to swoop in the minute somebody gets off without hitting. Tip number nine is one that you've probably heard before. People live and breathe these like horoscope things and I'm sure you've seen them all over TikTok too. It's like judging by the moon cycle and this and that and this. The same goes into casino play also. There's just something about it. Like I always feel like I hit more on my birthday. I always feel like there's more hits on New Year's or Chinese New Year. So if you're wondering when to go to the casino, go on your birthday and they also give you free play on your birthday or a free t-shirt or some sort of free gift. So it's worth it to go. My number eight tip at how to win at slots every time is play with your friends. Like guys, instead of putting $50 in the machine, if you're with a group of friends, play like $5 each or $10 each. It's probably going to hit with that much money in the machine. There's something about it that it's almost like the machine reads like, oh, this is a big spender. So if I give them $50 back for their $50, they're gonna gamble more. They're gonna, and I'm gonna get $100 out of them. I don't know, this is another one of my crazy theories, but either way, you're not gonna lose as much money if you play with your friends. And then at the end, when you hit, you can all divide it up. Even if you just get your $5 back, it's fun to play and it's worth it. Also playing with friends keeps you from feeding the machine because one of you, after it's not hitting, is going to be like, hey guys, we should move on to the next machine. And if you're the one who's like hitting that button, it's like, okay, calm down, take a breath, let's move on to the next because this machine's not gonna hit. I accept that because there's something that happens in your mind like, oh, I've put so much money in here, it's gotta hit, it's gotta hit. Guys, if it hasn't hit, it's not going to hit. Tip number seven at how to win at slot machines is kind of hop around the different bet amounts. So instead of hitting just 50 cents every time, do 50 cents, maybe a dollar 50, go back down to 50. After you've hit a little bit on the machine, try that $2 bet, try that $3 bet, and then go back to your minimum. There's something about when you bounce around that, I don't know, again, this is all psychology to me, I find it so interesting, but I think it makes the machine think, oh, okay, this person is getting a little flexible, so let me feed them a little more and see how much higher they go. And at one point, you're going to hit the right number at the right time, and you're gonna hit that bonus, or you're gonna hit that big win, and you're gonna be so happy because you're learning how to win at slot machines. If you've been following me, you know that I love signing up for the rewards card, so I get that free stay but you also need to use your rewards card because that's how you're gonna get the free play. That's how you're gonna get your free prizes for your birthdays and things. So make sure you sign up for that rewards card. But there's something about playing with your card that if you haven't been to the casino in a while and you come back with your card, it's almost like the casino recognizes you and they're like, hey, welcome back, here's some money. They're gonna try and hook you in and one of the ways to hook you in is to just feed you some money and then you just walk away. My tip number five, it also has to do with the rewards card, is that as you lose or as you play, as you win, every time you hit the button, you're getting points back. Every casino has a different payback system, but eventually you rack up enough points. You can either use that in the casino for like a coffee at your Starbucks, or you could use it in the gift shop, or you can use something called point play, and you can download that free money onto the machine. For you playing, they're rewarding you with money. So we love free money. And even though if we're losing, we're still getting that point play. So in a way you're still getting a percentage back of the money that you're spending. But that's the tip, don't forget to spend it. You can put that money towards your stay. Uh, if you go to the rewards card center and you can say, oh, this is, can you see if you can take any discount off my room rate because this is how much I've been gambling. And a lot of times the fact that you gambled in general, they'll knock off a percentage off your room rate. To get that, you go to the rewards counter and they're the ones who have the power to do that. Don't go to reception, go to the rewards counter. 
Here's a big tip, it's tip number three, and it is the machine is going to hit twice. When you sit down, if somebody else was sitting there for a long time and they just hit, you might be able to get that second hit. So that's why you see a lot of people looking around and watching to see if somebody gets up after they get that big hit, and that's why you'll see them sit down afterwards because they're trying to get that second hit. For example, when I hit this big hit, my first hit was for $300. So now that I had $300, I was like, oh my gosh, now I have some more playing money. So I did a couple different of my methods to get the machine to pay out and it did work and it did hit the second time for me. This is gonna happen within the third or fifth spin right after you get the first hit. Or for example, if you hit the bonus and it doesn't really pay out as much, guess what? Another bonus is about to hit and that's gonna be the one to pay. So do you understand what I'm saying here? If this video is packed full of knowledge you guys did not know about slot machines, comment down below, I finally know how to win at slots or I'm about to win at slots. And make sure you hit that subscribe because I'm talking about Vegas all month. I have all sorts of tips for you guys. This is the big finale. These are the top two. They're very important. So listen very closely. You can control your own luck on slot machines. When the reel is spinning, and you know, so many times this happens, you're like, bonus, reel one, two, three, bonus, reel three, doesn't happen. Guess what? You can stop it, but you just hit the stop. So when you see that bonus coming and you see that bonus coming, eventually you're going to start getting a feel for when the next one comes to like go past and you can stop it and you can trigger that bonus yourself. Once you feel the rhythm of the machine, if I can't explain it unless you're actually in the moment, there's something with the energy and you get the good vibes and you're just like, bam, and it just is like wild. Check out this next tip. And this is like my number, number one tip on how to win. These kind of games are called progressive or advantage play games. So for example, this one is Bubble Blast. What it's gonna do is every time those bubbles hit one of the yellow things that say Ocean Magic, they're actually going to expand and all become wild. So there's a number of games that look similar to this. They're usually some sort of circle or some sort of square. And whenever that main trigger triggers, it will spread out all the way across the board and you'll have these big hits. So what you wanna do is look for games like this that already have maybe like one bubble in the first row, one bubble in the third row, something like that, because you're gonna be able to hit a huge win like this in just a couple of spins because somebody left all those bubbles for you on their last game. Maybe they ran out of money, or they just didn't know how to play the game, but you're gonna look for games like this and take advantage. Here's another one, this one is called Scarabs. So on the top left-hand side, you'll see after, I'm doing it really quick, but um, see on the top left-hand side, you have a number of uh, spins until they all become wild. So all those yellow circles wherever a scarab lands, that area is going to become wild. So what you're going to do is try and catch as many scarabs as you can. I was trying to catch them stopping it or let the game play naturally. But either way, look for games that are already on a number like this and maybe like number seven or number eight. And you're going to be able to pick up where the other person left off. And this is also a good way to practice. You can download all of these casino games onto your phone. This is the guaranteed way to win every time, guys. Every time. Because once you know how the machines work, you're going to understand what it takes to hit the bonus. You're going to understand what it takes to hit that big win. And guys, just a few bonus tips for you. That's a great way to learn slot machines is to download these free games onto your phone. Every day you get free money to play the different games. Some of them even have coupons you can redeem for Vegas. I'll talk about that more in my next video, which is going to be Las Vegas for beginners. So hit that subscribe button if you want to get even more Las Vegas tips. Again, I'm talking about it all month. And just to follow up something that I was talking about earlier with the people that are walking around, don't get paranoid with them. They're not going to like, they're not stalking you to see how much money you are winning. Honestly, they're really just trying to hit for themselves. You'll see on the top of your machine, there's all the bonuses. Sometimes on the bonus, it'll say must hit by or must trigger by this amount. So that's what they're looking at because as you add money to the machine and every time you hit that spin button, it's adding more money to those prizes and they know what amount it is that it's supposed to pay out by. 
it might not say it on the machine, but these people are professional gamblers and they know what that number looks like. So they're gonna jump on the machine that's close to hitting those kind of big, big hits. And again, guys, these are all my opinions. I am not an expert by any means, but I do know how to win if I need to win, if that makes sense. These are all my opinions. Don't take them for face value. Like I'm not a professional gambler. I just do it for fun. But these are a lot of things that I've seen stay true in every city that I've been in, whether it's Vegas, Atlantic City, Ohio. You can call them coincidences, but once you have the same coincidence like a hundred times, you're like, hmm, maybe this is something like... Maybe this, maybe I'm on to something at how to win slots. Like maybe I know how to win slots here. Next time you're in the casino, I hope to see you back on this video and to comment I hit big or something like that. I'd love to have you come back and tell me if this video worked for you. So hit me up and I will see you in the next video.